we don't want to get too technical however there's a few things that are uh, important to explain it's important for me to explain it using what I have at my disposal to explain that using my body language use my attitude use some some words to explain something <clears throat> which is not the words itself it is not the body language itself but it is something that you feel inside of your body don't think feel so i'll just use it you know the language that i have available so mass and charge electric charge our mass of our body it is it grounds in electric charge so the thing is it grounds in electricity so we know that when we have a wire like that and when we pass an electric current through the wire negative here positive here and then an electric current goes through the wire what happens around the outside of the wire Vroom. a field electric field Vroom. magnetic field electric and magnetic electric and magnetic this is yin and yang this is a conjugate which means that well, what's a conjugate it means that you know things are connected the door and the wall is a is a conjugate okay magnetic and electric it's you, you can't have one without the other it's like there's you can't separate the north pole and the south pole of a magnet if you try and slice the magnet where the center seems to be what happens is things just rebalance themselves the pressure mediation of the magnetic field will will just rebalance itself so it's always it's always rebalancing right down to the lowest pressure gradient within our within this density this dimensional level <clears throat> so electric charge what flows through the wire mass because electric charge it has it has a mass so our whole body is grounded in electric charge the thing is that because we have this big oversized brain with a big oversized left hemisphere which is really good at logical analyzing language rationalizing things planning things our right brain hemisphere you can say it's the emotional thing the emotional part but because we have such a big brain anyway we we always overcomplicate things we always try to philosophize something conceptualize something imagine something and we in doing so we generate an internal map of reality that is only an approximation of of reality what's the best way to get in touch with reality don't think feel just like when you do when you do boxing i can't think okay i have to i have to um you know this that this is real mindfulness yeah is that mindfulness it needs to be applied to something if it's just mindfulness of being mindful of some visualization or some internal concept about reality that's not matching reality itself that's not mindfulness mindfulness is about doing some is is, is 
cultivated, mindfulness is cultivated through some training method where you are put in a position where you, all of your, your, uh, your shortcomings are exposed and then you, you are forced to, to consider, oh, where is, where are my shortcomings? And that whether that's, whether that's in martial arts or that's in just meditation and following the breath and uh, considering, okay, where obviously the wave cannot pass right through because there is a blockage somewhere. So now I have to be mindful of my breathing and then eventually connect with the energy. I have to be mindful of my, my, my uh, structural alignment, etc., etc. So you have to be mindful of something. You know, or a, a funny example is like if a if a when a boy approach a boy sees a girl that he wants to talk to, there's so many things he has to be mindful of. Otherwise, otherwise, you know, he might come across weird. He has to be mindful of uh, approaching the girl at the right at the right angle. Don't just come straight behind her and say hey. Otherwise, she'll be like ah, you know, and that will she she won't likely she won't want want to talk to him then. So. You know, and and the, the tonality. He has to be mindful of his voice. He has to relax. You know, don't speak in a big squeaky voice. Hi. And you know, a very beta male kind of. No, you have to relax. Hey, how you going there? You know, how, how's it going? You know, something like that. Okay. Or let's say if a girl, uh, for the girl, obviously. She's going to be mind. She's there's going to be a hundred things that she's going to be mindful of. She's going to be mindful of. Hmm, is this guy just approaching me for sex, or is he? Um, she, yeah, from, from her point of view, there will be. So, so this is real mindfulness when it is applied to, uh, you know, real life. Okay. It's not about visualizing or conceptualizing something, philosophizing something just for entertainment's sake. No. So this, this practice, okay, this is how you apply, how you develop real mindfulness. Yeah. So the mass of the body, it grounds in electric charge. The problem is we have a, yeah, such a big brain. And throughout life, we we acquire so many complicated ways of thinking that you know the, the electric charge distributes really randomly around the body. And then we the what happens is the density the density around the body it just gets you know uh, yeah all all sorts of weird misalignment things happen and in the emotional uh, system everything so So if my, all my thinking is up here, what's happening is the mass of my body goes up here, or some of it does, and I become top heavy, yeah, become top heavy. If I let the electric charge go down, go down into the ground, then what happens? All my mass, my mass of my body goes down there too. And what that feels like is it feels like, I should start to feel like there is a central tether going straight through my body, kind of suspended some plate up here going straight through and then going beneath the ground and then beneath the ground all my mass is hanging on that weight through there and then all of my all of my fascia the balloons balloons uh, translucent balloons surrounding all of the muscles joints ligaments they start to expand and 
and now all my weight, my weight goes down there because I let the electrical, the electric charge go down there. 